Welcome to Random Reviews and Action. Okay, what's up guys? I'm gonna tell you another random review. This time it's about my life. So, way back in September 11th, 2001, yeah, we all remember, that's when the World Trade Center got hit. But it, first I didn't know how to react, but now I do, and I've been reacting for quite a while. So, in November of that year, there was an issue uh, a Marvel comic that was black cover and it was Spider-Man. And in my opinion, very great visual effects, but the only thing that lacked was the storyline and I didn't really like it. So I challenged myself to create a better story and I succeeded, but I can't really do anything with the material because copyright issues, bunch of characters, Marvel, Image, DC, that can't be used by me, so, oh well. Um, so, mm -mm. I read a thing called Birds of Prey, uh, I mean not Birds of Prey, Birds and Bats, and The Guardians of Paradise, and it was to me my masterpiece, and it ended with the One World Trade Center, and it shot with a bunch of these characters, Venom, climbing up the building. By you okay and um the so there was Iron Man climbing, climbing the building, Venom, the Batman, there was Cyclops shooting his laser, there was even Spawn flying around with his laser eyes, and much more. That's why I call it my masterpiece. And I think, but I can't say, say I did, but I hope I convinced New York to rebuild the One World Trade Center plus compromise and make a, a park up to remember those who fell that day. So that's the first thing I wanted to say. The next point I wanted to say was one, one day after that, my mother got really angry and saying a bunch of stuff to me about what I wrote and how I can't even use it. And so with, with her anger, she said something that was probably the most convincing piece of advice I could ever get was create my own characters. So I did, and I created Fearsome Fire, a character around my life, but it's only a stretched reality. The character is disabled by day, but by night he can walk around with an exoskeleton and mimic flying with electromagnetic energy. This was stolen by his arch enemy, Dr. Psycho. Dr. Psycho is, is all my doctors in my life into one character. So he has multiple personalities. But with the stolen technology, he gave birth to a hoodlum who was a, a, a really nice girl in the beginning, but 
got brainwashed into being crazy badass. So uh, you have that to look forward to. Also, there's a character, a called Praying Mantis. Praying Mantis is the number one mo most, uh, like, the most greatest character to follow. N Dr. Saigo, she's a ninja assassin. And I forgot to tell you that Dr. Saigo Dr. Saigo is controls all the ninja assassins. And my character, the jackal, is number one. Uh, manages all the Phantom Mafia, which is the Mexican Mafia. It all takes place in San Diego because I had to go a long time ago in 2001 when when advertising started coming up around hotels around Comic Con in San Diego I asked myself why do we have one of the biggest conventions if there's no comic characters in San Diego so I mean it my personal challenge to make this happen. So that's when I created all this and then I created a character called Electric Blaze, who's another ninja assassin. Then I told you about the jackal, but he's, he gave control to North Huntington Beach, which is LA, to Beauty Stalker, who's another ninja assassin, came from Japan, and her mother is from North Korea, but she never sees her mother. And so she becomes a badass killer because her friend had cystic fibrosis and she died so she got really messed up in the head and then um there's a character called the chameleon chameleon is before marbles the, the chameleon where he's got a mask because my character doesn't have a mask it's an actual lizard man. Long time ago, his name was Dick Johnson. He was a real scientist, but he got messed up by, uh, by the jackal and was hit with smack magic. If you don't know, smack is the street name for heroin, so spack magic is a mix of of drugs that can kill. So, but this just messed him up completely. And his uh, his son is actually the new owner of Psycorp. This agency works for birds and fire. So in a nutshell, that's that whole series. Now, there's also tons of other things I've been writing. There, There's like Kingdom Come. One moment, something went wrong. Yeah, we don't care. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Excuse her. But um, there's the game come, which is about Greek mythological characters. There's round two, which is about a fallen uh, boxer from, from New York, 
ends up in my city called South Huntington Beach. There's there's a story inspired by Lady Gaga that's called called Lady G. There's um, other things like Kraken that is a CIA misfit that exploits the government. And then there's there's things like Agent Ultra, which I'm working on a side story right now, called Sons of Asylum with Agent Ultra. But uh, Agent Ultra is uh, the like number one Jewish kid that's been abducted. But he's going to be a super soldier leader for uh, Dr. Death, which is the most wanted Nazi. And um, then I have a story called Star Force, which is inspired by some friends of mine at Starbucks. And what else? I think. Oh, the yeah, other Cap Captain Drugbuster, which is an actual character, but I I got permission to use him from the creator. And so I've been doing all these stories, still working on more making those comics, um, the Fierce and Flyers stuff was first in movie format and I actually created an origin story TV show about the character. Then for my future goals, I, I wanted to tell you that my goal is to create a movie studio. This is not your average movie studio. It would be a equal opportunity employment movie studio for people like me, disabled, and with the talent in front and behind of the camera. And I think this is something that's been overlooked and should be out there. And a long time ago, way back in 2001, I started realizing that all, these, all my entertainment goals are something that's been an untapped market that's been well overlooked in the entertainment business, why? Maybe people don't know how, know how to deal with disabilities, but it's my personal goal to make people deal with it. So that, in a nutshell, is my, my random review about my life. Thank you. Be sure to go to comicimagin.org and if you have an extra bug, there's a donate button up top. Um, thank you in advance. Then also um, be sure to like this video and share it and also leave a comment. Thanks.